Welcome to the video tutorial on how to interpret National Weather Service River Forecast products. The National Weather Service issues river flood forecasts when the water level at a specific point is expected to reach or exceed a locally determined critical threshold called action stage. A river stage is measured in feet above a predefined base level and is site dependent meaning a river stage at one location is not the same as a river stage at a different location. In this example along the Red River at Oslo, Minnesota, a river stage is plotted along the primary vertical axis and action stage is defined as 23 feet. In addition to action stage, flood categories are assigned to each river point that describes the severity of the flood and the expected impacts to the surrounding area. These thresholds are different from location to location and are determined by local government officials. In this example, minor flood stage is 26 feet, moderate flood stage is 30 feet, and major flood stage is 36 feet. Depending on the severity of the flood, a record stage may also be displayed on the graph. A river stage can be expressed as flow or the volume of water that passes a specific point every second. Flow is measured in thousands of cubic feet per second, or kcfs. In this example, flow is plotted along the secondary vertical axis. Looking at the graph, a river stage of 28 feet is equivalent to 20,400 cubic feet per second. A cubic foot is about the size of a basketball, so in this example, 20,400 basketballs are moving through the river channel at Oslo each and every second. River stage observations are shown by the blue line in the graph. The frequency of observations depends on the location. The blue value plotted near the observation curve and also highlighted in the box in the upper left-hand corner of the graph is the latest observation available. For this example, the latest observation is 27.93 feet and was taken at 7.15 a.m. on June 29, 2009. The latest observation may be delayed by up to one hour due to computer processing time. The river flood forecast is shown by the green line in the graph. It is valid for a period of seven days and each square along the curve represents six hours. The green value plotted near the forecast curve is the highest forecast river stage for the seven day period. For this forecast, the river is expected to reach a maximum stage of 31.4 feet around 7 a.m. on July 1, 2009. It is important to note that higher river stages may occur beyond the seven-day forecast window. With this graph, a user can determine the relative accuracy of the forecast. Ideally, the blue curve and the green curve should overlap. If the blue curve is above the green curve, the river is rising more quickly or falling more slowly compared to the forecast. Conversely, if the blue curve is below the green curve, the river is rising more slowly or falling more quickly compared to the forecast. River forecasts are updated at least once a day between 9 a.m. and noon to reflect the latest observations and model data. A flood warning is issued for any forecast point at or above minor flood stage. After initial issuance of the warning, a text product is created that provides additional information to support the forecast graphic. This text product corresponds with the green forecast curve on the previous slide for Oslo, Minnesota. It provides information on the warning valid time, current observation, current and forecast flood category, the forecast, and impact statements. Additional information may also be included to explain why significant changes were made to the forecast. Tabular numerical data is provided near the end. River forecasts are most useful in the days leading up to, during, and immediately following a flood event. Forecasts provide specific timing and river stage information that give users the most probable outcome over a seven-day period, helping them make final decisions on protective measures. For example, a resident could decide on June 28th to add two more rows of sandbags on top of his or her temporary levee since the river is expected to rise above 30 feet by the morning of June 30th. 
This concludes the video tutorial on how to interpret National Weather Service River Forecast Graphics. For additional support, contact your nearest National Weather Service Forecast Office or visit us on the web at www.weather.gov.